Good afternoon. I'm Tiffany Kenny. We're coming on the air as the Indian River County Sheriff's Office announces an arrest in yesterday's homicide investigation. We brought it to you as breaking news. Let's listen in. Uh, we're here today to give you an update on a double homicide that occurred here in Indian River County uh, yesterday afternoon. So when I talked to uh, the media yesterday about uh, this case, uh, we gave you the initial call at 3.01 p.m. Uh, it's just after two now, so we're 23 hours into this case. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, we were actually on the scene and we talked about the first 48, how critical that is. There's even a TV show named after it. Well, here we are 23 hours later, uh, we had our suspect in custody in 12 hours. Uh, in 12 hours, we had him in custody. So incredible work by our team. Um, our folks have been working all night. Uh, some of them have had very little sleep and uh, they are here with us today. Uh, I know that we have you here for another press conference, which we're gonna do shortly after this one. Uh, and I appreciate you all being here early to, uh, to discuss this one. So let me give you the rundown. When I stood with you yesterday and I told you, uh, these guys, we know they're not from here, right? I can't disclose all of the information at that moment. I can't tell you everything I know because we don't have next of kin notification done. Uh, at that moment, we have not identified, positively identified them. But what we did know in that moment when I was standing with you is that the vehicle that was on scene was registered to a young man out of Melbourne. Um, that young man was one of our deceased parties. And so uh, we have some things on the slideshow here. Uh, hopefully this thing works if they, how do I go? Go this way. Uh, so these are our two victims in this case. Um, the family was notified uh, late last night. Uh, Joseph Cardella uh, was the registered owner of the vehicle. Uh, it was a Chrysler vehicle that was out there. Uh, his best friend, Logan Thompson, was there with him. These are the two young men that were killed yesterday. Both of these young men are 19 years old. They're both from Melbourne. Um, on the scene, we believe that uh, based on the position of the vehicle, the vehicle was actually next to a wooded lot. It was just a, a plain wooded lot. There was a house uh, the next lot over. Uh, Mr. Cardella appeared as though he was running away from the vehicle and he collapsed in the yard uh, where he ultimately passed away. Uh, Mr. Thompson was deceased in front of the vehicle near the roadway, right on the roadway. Um, very tragic situation out there. And so we're standing there with these two young men from Melbourne uh, with not much information. And I'll tell you the, the key factor, uh, which our, obviously our license plate reader system is a huge item in this, for us to be able to know at that moment, these guys hadn't been in Indy River County before. They just showed up today. We knew at 2.30, that was the first time that they had entered Indian River County. Uh, at three o'clock, they were there dead on the ground. So we knew something was going on. There was money scattered about, uh, which led us to believe that it was possibly drug related. So uh, shortly thereafter, a brave young man came forward. His family brought him forward and said, he came home, he was very stressed about what had just happened and uh, he wants to talk to you. And so our witness came forward to our detectives. Uh, our witness was present when all of this occurred. Uh, our witness led us within a very short time period, showed us a map of where the gun was at. Uh, we have a drug dog here in Indian River County for our schools. We brought out our drug dog, put the dog on the ground. Within two minutes, the gun was located that was involved in this. From when the dog hit the ground until the gun was found was about two minutes. Uh, it is, uh, I have a photo of the gun, which I'll show you in the slideshow. It's a, uh, a, a handgun, nine millimeter handgun with an extended magazine. Um, we know that many rounds were fired out there. We know that there was no weapon found on either one of these guys. There's no weapon in the car. There's no weapon on any of them. Our witness tells us that he traveled with our suspect, Jaime Mosqueda. He is in Department of Juvenile Justice custody now. He is 17 years old, that he traveled with Mosqueda to meet these guys from Melbourne to buy 1,300 THC vape pens. That's what this is over. 1,300 THC vape pens for approximately $3,000. Now, the kicker is there's only about $1,000 on the ground out there. Um, this guy shows up with his gun and at some point starts firing off rounds. 
He eventually tells his family that it was in self-defense. Now, obviously, there's no weapons on either one of our victims in this case. Uh, there's no weapons located. Um, our victim sa says that he saw no weapons. There was no allegation that there was any weapons. He just knows that this guy started firing at these two guys, and they took flight. You're listening there, to Sheriff uh, Eric Flowers with the, the Indian River County Sheriff's run. Office announcing an arrest and the deaths of two 19-year-olds less than 24 hours after the crime was committed yesterday in Vero Beach. They have arrested 17-year-old Jaime Mesquia. Uh, he is charged now with the deaths of 19-year-old Joseph Cardella and Logan Thompson, both teenagers from the Melbourne area. Police say, detectives say, they were there to buy 1,300 THC vape pens. Again, both 19-year-olds from Melbourne are dead, a 17-year-old now in custody. We'll have much more on the story coming up today, beginning at 4 o'clock.